Alrighty, the VK36.01H, catchily named. Armor test and, and reappraisal of the tank uh, post new release, post buff of armor. Uh, just did the T1 Heavy also on the channel. Bought this back, got a very long history with the tank. Um, first heavy tank I bought. I think I wanted to grind up towards the Tiger. Um, played it as a noob. Um, sucked in it, bought it back. Recovered my win rate in it, sold it again. So this is like the third time I think I bought this tank. So when I bought it, just to know it was like fully upgraded because all your config saved, if you follow me. So driving the tank again, um, a bit like an old friend. Um, so just, just some things before the armor test. So to note, um, it's not fast. And I honestly think that if they buffed anything, they should have buffed the engine. This is with the top engine, so it's not quick. It doesn't traverse particularly well, even with the top tracks. Um, but as you can see, the top plate on the tank and the turret, if you're facing the enemy and just showing them the top of the tank, not the sides, not the back, um, it's very, very tough now. And it was always tough, so that in itself is a misnomer if you could drive the tank. Um, to note, it will not save you, um, the new buff will not save you from penetration through the lower plate. And if you look at this tank in the garage or just in armor inspector, the lower glacis on the front is, or the lower plate is, is huge. It's absolutely huge. If you get shot through it, you will get penetrated. So you can see where I'm playing the tank. All they can see is basically my top plate and the big gun mallet on it, and that's it. If you get hit through the lower plate, you, you, it, what's going to happen is you're going to lose your engine. That's one. And the second thing is the transmission's down there. So you will get an engine fire uh, one time out of two, um, almost guaranteed. So you'd be busting repair kits like anything if you let people shoot at the, the lower half of the tank. That, that's for sure. In this game, I am suffering with the mobility because the tanks not quick and the team have played left I've gone to support them there's no point in me going the heavy route um, on my own and, and doing side scraping and, and going looking for hard cover that way the tank doesn't have bad gun depression it can cope in this situation but as you can see I've had a real hard time chasing this firefly down there's no way I'm catching him but I will shoot him in the arse in a minute boom so so far so good so if you look at the armor test on it um, I've bounced about a thousand that, that no one's managed to scratch my paintwork yet so that's going well but things have gone a bit awry because the SU100 um, is AFK and it's good to see that AFK players are slowly getting uh, cleared out of the game uh, not and so I'm left with three which is great so my kind of thought process is well the Firefly's low hit points I'd like him the KV2's in rude health down there and you can see I've just had a good look at which way he's facing and where he is. I'm not touching that thing. Um, it's a three on one. He's harmless down there. He's not doing anything. The firefly pushes me. Final bounce, final insult. And I've got the Krupp and the KV2. Now I think my paintwork is going to get scratched. So what I'm going to do is hold down and basically just roll backwards try and hold the lower plate, take my medicine, bang, and it goes exactly where I want it. There 168, I can take that. I'm going to ignore the crook. He's, he's tier 5, God bless him. Um, he may well get some shots into me, but I need this KV-2 gone. So I'll clear him. And then the crook's got nothing. He's going to get me in the side as I turn, but the moment I get this tank front on, he's got no hope, poor kid. Um, so I tap him for 90 as he comes round and just show him a big load of red tomato and, and finish him off. So there it kind of is, 1.5k uh, blocked, 2.8k uh, damage game. This tank can be effective but I, I wouldn't say it's, it's OP because of the buff and I wouldn't recommend it to new players. I mean personally I love it but it's not the easiest of tanks to play, let's just say that. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. See ya. Bye.